Mark Hi, I'm McGable and I'd like to give you my top 10 hints for new pilots. The 10 things that you should really know before you undock. Number one, and I'm going to be shooting myself in the foot here because I make a living from people who do do this. Don't ever undock with large skill injectors or plex in your ship. There's something called a plex fault. It's a bit like a bank and if you got to take plex somewhere you don't need to physically transport it in your ship it can be in the plex vault and then when you're at your destination you just withdraw it just drag it over there's no need for it to ever go into a ship same with skill injectors they can be used remotely there's absolutely no need for them to ever leave a station i recently made a video about new pilots who were undocking with billions worth of cargo in tiny tiny ships that were easy to blow up don't do it. There's no part of the new player experience teaches you that ships can be easily blown up in high security space and that these things can be stolen and you might have spent a lot of money on these things. So don't undock with these things on board. Hint number two, train up your core ship skills before you try to go into a bigger ship. Now, I can remember way back when I first started in EVE, I was desperate to get up into a battleship, but I didn't train up my core skills first, and that meant that even though I could fly a battleship, I couldn't properly fit it. There are six skills that you should train up first. Mechanics, CPU management, capacitor management, power grid management, weapon upgrades, and shield management. Once you've got those six skills trained up, those skills will come in handy. You will use them for every single ship that you're ever going to fly. I would even take a step further and say, don't even move up into cruisers until you've learned your art. Learn how to fly ships and fight in ships and navigate ships with frigates. The cheapest ships, easy to replace. Because if you can't do something in a frigate, you're not going to be able to do it in a cruiser or a battleship. Number three, don't ever autopilot. Autopiloting is a way of getting from one system to another automatically. But when you autopilot, you don't walk to a gate, you walk 10 kilometers from a gate. And that is a window for gankers to scan your ship and to make a decision whether or not to shoot it. Plan ahead, take your time to fly from system to system manually. Or if you absolutely have to autopilot, don't have anything expensive on board. Hint number four, there are bad people out there who are gonna try and kill you. Now, if you're new and you want to start mining, and most people do at some point, you need to be aware that there are people, even in high security space, in fact, especially in high security space, who are going to find you and they're going to kill you in the mining belts. And I'm going to show you how to warn yourself about them. First thing is type in the word safety with a full stop and press enter. And it'll bring up this alliance here. Right click and put add contact and set them to red. That means they're bad guys and click add contact. Now there's a chat box called local and it's permanently there. You can minimize it, but you can't close it down. And what that does is it tells you the names of the all the pilots that are in the solar system with you, which means that they could potentially attack you. Now if you set somebody to red, meaning that they've got a bad standing with you, then you will get that red box come up next to them so if you set safety to red keep an eye on local then you will know if they come into the solar system because you'll start seeing these red boxes appearing and at that point you know you need to get out of the belt tip number five if you're up to six months old and you lose a ship to another player and the value of your ship and your modules is anything up to 30 million isk i'll reimburse you for that ship and the mods I'll contract it to you and you'll get it all delivered in Jita at no cost to yourself. Now I've written a, a whole guide to the reimbursement policy. Um, so there's a link to the video in the description below and a link to my website where you can make the application for the reimbursement there.
Tip number seven. There are always events going on in EVE Online. Keep an eye out for them. Things like the Frigate Free For All, run by a band apart, or the Proving Ground events run by CCP. Now these are a free opportunity to go and fight other pilots in a controlled environment. In the Frigate Free For All, you get given the ship for free, and in the Proving Grounds, you'll know what you'll be up against because it'll either be a frigate proving ground or a destroyer's one and it's it's a good way of trying stuff out that you might not have done before like pvp fighting tip number something right at the beginning you'll be offered missions take them it's an opportunity to learn about navigating your ship fighting fitting it'll increase your standings with certain factions and it'll earn you some money as well it's a great experience and you can work your way up to more difficult missions, different levels of agent, which will earn you even more risk and the LP store, you'll get rewards as well. Tip number 17 and 18 is join EVE University. EVE University is an alliance specifically for new pilots to learn their ropes. There is no one more experienced in EVE than educating new pilots than EVE University. They run fleets, they run classes, and they've got the greatest resources online for all the different things that you'll find in EVE. And the last tip is join the NPSI fleets, which stands for Not Purple Shooter. These are fleets that contain people from all sorts of corps and alliances. You could even fly with your enemies just for the duration of this fleet. They are regular, they are varied, and they're a lot of fun. It's a good way to meet other pilots and to have a bit of experience of flying around in a fleet. Those are MacGyvo's hints and tips, essential knowledge for brand new pilots. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye.